Guys, I'm Moya and I'll be singing one of my favourite songs at the moment. It's Next to Me by Emily Sandy. Really hope you like it and uh, thanks for listening. Hi friends, um, it's been quite a long time um, but I thought I would just talk about one thing before I move on to the cover. So I started this channel in August, I think it was August? August 2012. And I really did it just to try it out and to see what it was like because I became accustomed to um, singing and playing my guitar at church and um, just I was really into artists like Tracy Chapman at the time and um, who else like Tori Kelly just all sorts of different people and I just thought okay let me try what this whole YouTube thing is about and and see how far I progress on it um, but it's low-key been a blessing because it's been a small creative outlet I consider it to be one of my hobbies um, and it's also a place where I've been able to um, document some of my um, fondest memories and I love it I really do um, but if I could recommend one thing and one thing that I think that's um, been like the recurring theme of this channel it's this everything that's written in this are things that I try very hard to include in my videos. A lot of my videos um, consist of um, Bible quotes at the end, encouraging words, words of as words of wisdom from this book. And honestly, it feels like a great privilege to have access to this. Um, and especially, I've, I've always felt that it's been a huge privilege to um, be acquainted with God and his word um, at such a young age because it's been, it means that I've been resolute in who I am and my identity in Christ and no one can convince me otherwise because of it. So I don't really know, I don't really have an idea of like the demographic. I mean, it's such a small page, so I don't often know who watches this. I have an idea of the regulars. But if I could recommend one thing, if it's this, it's the ultimate source of hope, joy, peace. Um, and I know how much it enriches me on a daily basis. And it's kind of got to the point where it would be unfair to have all of this information to feel so vibrant after reading God's word and not share it with someone else. It almost feel like I was doing that other person a disservice. So friends, I say to you, if it's ever crossed your mind, ch check it out. <laughs> check it out. It's an amazing book. Um, it, you can learn so much. Um, I think what inspires me most is how, you know, Christ didn't just come for, to the world to die um, for our sins, but on top of that, he left us with the Holy Spirit who provides us with wisdom, who provides us with um, protection and um understanding and you know even on top of that um he he left us with prayer which is a 24 7 um, helpline where we can come to him and exchange and dialogue with him anytime we please so he's really a caring and compassionate god so to have all this information to myself i i, I can't do it like so which is why i recommend this book it won't let you down um the word of god says that if you seek me with all your heart you will find me and i believe this fact wholeheartedly yeah so the word of god is still very much alive and active and i just think it's amazing it's accessible to everyone so this idea that i have to kind of get it right i have to be perfect before i face god is really a huge myth it's the greatest lie come you can come as you are that you don't, there are no entry requirements there are no series of protocols you have to follow before accepting Christ into your life is just really saying in your heart that I accept Christ into my heart and you know there's no written endorsement required um, and that's it it's really as that and you automatically when that happens you automatically wear a helmet of salvation you're for forever protected and God will never ever leave you and uh, nor forsake you but um, yeah if you ever have time or if you thought about it even if it's never crossed your mind um, I would definitely recommend it especially now where there's so much going on in the world and there's a lot of confusion about what's happening it's a good thing to turn to for hope and um, it's an amazing form of encouragement as well so today's song is um, one of my favorites i feel like i say this about every almost every song but i genuinely love this song and it's called um, because he lives